हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग विथ सैंपल पेपर क्लास टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड पेपर सी दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिवन इन वन पेपर दैट सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर एक्स वेयर द इक्वेशन इज फोर रूट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस टू रूट थ्री equal to 0 see what you have to do firstly you have to aware about margin line write here solution one or write the equation 4 root 3 x square plus 5 x minus 2 root 3 equal to 0 You can solve this equation by middle term split term so by factorizing by factorization method or by using Siddharth formula or quadratic formula. See student, here coefficient of x square is equal to four root three and here constant is minus two root three. In rough form, you can write four root three into minus two root three. Four to the eight, three to the twenty-four. Here you have requirement of to break up. Here you observe minus sign. You have two factors such a manner their product should be twenty four, but their difference should be five. It can be written eight minus three. You can replace four root three x square and five can be written eight minus three x then two root three equal to zero. Here. Four root three x square x will multiply with it eight x and with minus three minus three x minus two root three equal to zero. See in first two what is common four here eight both are coming in table of four x is also common take four x as common four x leave divide by four root three will be left. And one x, if you remove, you will get one more x. That should be written four two ja eight two. Here you can take root three as common. Here three three is the product of root three into root three. You know root three into root three is equal to three. So here, if you want to take root three from three, one root three will be left out. And here minus is out means you have taken common root three is out here two is left. See here root three x plus two. This is the first factor. Second one will be four x minus root three equal to zero. If root three x plus two is equal to zero. That implies root three x is equal to minus two. Therefore, x is equal to minus two upon root three. Or four x minus root three equal to zero. Or four x is equal to root three. Root three minus root three is transpose that side. Then or x is equal to root three upon four. Hence. You should write the answer at the end. Minus two upon root three and root three upon four are roots of the given equation. This was our first solution. First question, two marks. I hope you get it. Clear? Wait for few seconds. I will take the second one. I hope you are able to understand. I got question based on this to get root, or you can see of the uh, conditional based question must be asked in the question. Now next question, you see. 
नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज गिवेन देयर इज अक्वेशन के एक्स इट इज और पार्ट इज गिवेन के एक्स इंटू एक्स माइनस टू रूट फाइव प्लस टेन यू शुड सॉल्व साइमल्टेनियसली मीन्स टूगेदर ओके तो यू कैन रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्टली फॉर वॉट वैल्यू ऑफ के द रूट ऑफ क्वारिटिक इक्वेशन के एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस टू रूट फाइव प्लस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो आर इक्वल इट मीन्स कंडीशनल रूट बेस्ड कंडीशनल क्वेश्चन मीन्स द गिवेन इक्वेशन हैज इक्वल रूट तो वॉट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ के यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन यू स्टार्ट विथ कंडीशन योर सोल्यूशन शुड स्टार्ट विथ कंडीशन दिस इज वन और इफ यू आर ट्राइंग और यू मस्ट राइट और हियर इन आंसर सीट and just before margin line and you start since the given equation has equal roots if the given equation has equal roots it means discriminant must be zero therefore d is equal to what zero and what is d d is discriminant that rule that tell us that signifies us about the nature of the roots of the given quadratic equation and d is equal to b square minus 4 ac d is equal to what b square minus 4 ac i hope you are able to see it see here but question given question is not given in quadratic form so you have to multiply here k into x k x into x k x square then k x into 2 root 5 it means 2 root 5 k x then 10 this will be the equation the your value of b will be minus 2 root 5 k whole square then 4 a value will be k and c value will be 10 c so square of 2 minus 2 minus 2 means minus 2 into minus 2 if you are going to find the square of minus 2 it means minus 2 into minus 2 means plus 4 and square of root 5 will be 5 it means 4 5 ja 20 k square and here will be 4 tens are 40 k equal to zero. Here you observe 20 k is common in both. You can take as common. Here k is left out, and here 2 ja. You will observe two factor. First one is 20 k. Second one will be k minus 2. If 20 k equal to zero, therefore k will be what? Zero. But if you put value of k zero in the given equation, it will be not a quadratic equation. It means it is not possible. Or NP means not possible. Means sambhav nahi hai. Then what is second factor? K minus two or k is equal to two. Therefore, value of k will be what? Two. I hope you get it. this is the way to solve conditional based question while you are going to get two values must be aware that which value is satisfying the equation if both are satisfying both will be answer if one is satisfying one is not satisfying so the value that satisfy the equation that will be the correct value of k or missing one you get it next question to so you remember one question in two marks from quadratic equation must be in your examination it may be either you find the root of the equation or conditional based means nature based question if the roots are equal then find the value of k or if roots are distinct then find the value of k in this way question must be in your examination next question question number 2 Question number two. Uh, we will share the question later on. 
you will see in attachment see here these are observation 20 22 23 then 25 then x plus 1 this is question of class 9 and here it is given in two marks 36 38 39 and 41 and here median is given median is given what 30 you have to find the value of x see first of all if raw data is given data must be arranged in ascending order or descending order it has been already given in ascending order clear then after you have to count the number of observation see i am counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 number of observation is 10 it is even what is even therefore what is the median in the case of even half of n by tooth observation plus n by 2 plus 1 observation now median is already given 30 see this is very easy question median is already given 30 this formula you learn from class 7 onward you must revise it see 1 by 2 here n value is what 10 replace here 10 by tooth observation here n by 2 Plus one observation. Now these two can be transposed this side. You can write sixty here, and this one will dissolve, and it will be fifth observation plus sixth observation. Now you have to count fifth observation in the given data, raw data. Which has been already arranged in ascending order. Be aware that data must be arranged in ascending order or descending order. If not, you have to arrange. Then you have to find. See, one, two, three, four, five. At fifth place, what is x plus one? And at sixth place, what is x plus three? You have to replace it. X plus one. Then x plus three. Here. You will write sixty, and then x and x two x three one four. Now four can be transposed this side. Transpose means send any term from left to right or right to left. Sign will be changed. You know this is the basic rule of solving the equation. Then two x here two x is equal to fifty six. Therefore. X is equal to what? Fifty six upon two. It means twenty eight. So what will be the value of X? Twenty eight. I hope you get this question, this solution. If you have any problem, you can tell your views. I am writing it. I am going to discuss the same question in different manner. See, if you are not having time in the examination, how to do this question? Clear? i i hope you will be very happy to know see listen student it is already given in ascending order and you have counted the number of terms then what you have to do with the help of pencil you cut first here first from here second here second from here third from here third from here fourth from here fourth from here you are left with two term at the end you are job therefore median is equal to whatever left whatever left means x plus 1 x plus 
upon 2. My median is given what? 30. It will be 2x plus 4 upon 2. It means 2, 30 to the 60. Here will be 2x plus 4. Here again you reach at the same position while you have solved. You will feel comfortable in this way. But the way I have taught earlier, that is the classical way to solve the question. If you have not time, you can do in this manner, but cut this one with pencil. Remember it. Clear? I hope you get it. Now, I will tell the next question C. There is a ladder. There is a ladder. And that is making some angle with the wall. Clear? It means while you are going to read the ladder and making some angle, your brain is stuck with one chapter that is introduction, not introduction, application to trigonometry. This is third question is from your chapter application to trigonometry. See here, once more I am going to read. Find the length of ladder making an angle of 45 degree with the ground. That is not making with wall. That angle is made with ground. See, this may be the wall. And you have to draw the diagram, remember, by using ruler and pencil. This is wall. And there is a ladder. Ladder, you know. In this way, ladder you observe. This is ladder, you know, in this way ladder. And this is making an angle of 45 degree with the ground. Clear? Next, which foot is 7 meter away from the wall? The foot of this ladder is 7 meter from the wall. Now, question is that, you have to find the length of the ladder. Means what is the length of the ladder? You can assume the length of the ladder is x meter. I hope you get it till here. Yes. Diagram is very convenient, easy. And in that, uh, while you are solving the question of geometry and trigonometry, you must draw the diagram with the help of ruler and pencil. Very clearly. You have simply assumed the length of the ladder. Let the length of ladder. See, I have not named the figure. I will name it. So what is name of ladder? AC. B of X meter. In right triangle. A, B, C, you observe, now see, here you have to find the relation between base and hypotenuse. You have learned Pandit Badri Prasad Harhar Bole, first sine Bole, then cos Bole, then tan Bole. Kya Bole? Sine, tan, sine, cos and tan. See, the P, Pandit Badri Prasad, the P by H, sine, B by H, cos, B by H, cos and <coughs> Prasad Bole, the P by B, what? Tan. So here relation between B and H, cos. In this way you can learn it. Cos 45 degree is equal to BC upon AC and cos 45. Now you have to remember, recall the value table, trigonometric value table. The cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. Here BC is 7. And AC is to be find out. AC can be replaced by X. Because this is length of the ladder. See, cross multiply it. X, 7 root 2. Then you can place the value of root 2 also. 1.414. And then multiply. 7 for the 28 to carry. 7 for the 7 to 9. 7 for the 28. 7, 1, 7, 2, 9 meter. You can write what? Hence, 
द लेंथ ऑफ द लैडर इज दिस इज वेरी क्लोज टू नाइन पॉइंट नाइन दिस इज वेरी क्लोज टू नाइन पॉइंट नाइन यू कैन राइट नाइन पॉइंट नाइन मीटर आंसर क्लियर आई हैव राउंडेड ऑफ You have more than five. I have increased one in this. I hope you get this question, and this is very easy. Clear? Or two marks, half marks you will get for correct figure, and half marks for writing answer. One marks this activity. In this way, the marks will be divided in the question. So next question, question number four is of chapter. If the volume of two cubes are in the ratio twenty-seven is to sixty-four, find the ratio of their total surface area. Clear? Here there are two cubes given, and whose volume are in the ratio twenty-seven is to sixty-four. You have to find the ratios of their total surface area. See the question. So here is one cube. Do no cube. There is no need to draw the diagram, but if you are drawing here, no issue. Its volume is given in the ratio twenty-seven here, and not twenty-seven is volume. It is the part of ratio, and one is. 64. One is 64. So that cube will be a little bit bigger. You can draw. This portion is 64. This is not 64. This portion ratio is 27 is to 64. So I have written for indication only. That is not 27. That is not. 64. That is the ratio. Let the age of this cube is a1, and this is a2. Clear any doubt? Therefore, suppose this cube name is a, and this cube name is b. So what will be? You have to find the ratio. You ratio of volume has been given here. You have to get the relation between ages. Ages means sides of the cube. A, With the help of ratio of volume, clear? See, volume of cube is volume of cube b is equal to 27 upon 64 is given already, clear? And volume, how to calculate the volume of cube? H cube, H cube means side cube, yeah. A one Q upon A two Q is equal to twenty seven upon sixty four. Now you can write here A one upon A two whole Q in power and exponent chapter. You have studied about it. If same power is given in both, that should be taken as common. Now twenty seven sixty four. See if you transpose Q that side, it will be A one upon A two. Cube root. What it, it will be? Cube root twenty-seven upon sixty-four. And you observe a one upon a two. Cube root of seven. Cube root of twenty-seven will be three, and cube root of this will be four. This will be the first relation. Actually, you have to find the ratio between the surface area of these two cubes. How to get? Just below, you have to write. So here is no space. I am writing here just beside. Now, the SA of Q B upon T S A. T S A means total surface area. You know very well. I hope so. Is equal to six A one square upon six A two square. Six six cancel. What is left? 
a1 upon a2 square now you can write a1 upon a2 whole square here you can write a1 upon a2 ratio is given 3 by 4 you can replace it 3 by 4 whole square it means 9 upon 16 it means 9 is to 16 that is the required relation clear so we have solved almost four question of four question of section eight then see now we will solve question number five of this set this has been uh, published by a very well recognized institution of india i have got the paper so that i share with you see here let C be a circle with center O. Let C be a circle with center O. T be a point on circle. C. Question number 5. It is of circle chapter. There will be a circle. Draw a circle. While you have to draw, you use compass. Now you observe. O is the center. Write down O. T be the point on circle, choose any T point here, suppose I am choosing here T. T be the point outside, take point P outside. Now, you observe how I am drawing the diagram, part by part I am doing in the same manner you have to read slowly. Twice you have to read the question. If you have question of geometry, you read twice and Draw the diagram by reading part by part. That will be very helpful to you. So P is a point that is outside of a circle such that PT is tangent to C. PT is tangent to C. If C means here circle. If I am drawing here, the PT is tangent and C is circle. C is the name of the circle. Assume that OP intersect OP. OP is intersecting the circle at Q at this point. If PT is 12, PT is 12 centimeter and PQ, PQ is 8 centimeter. Then find the radius of circle. Okay, very nice question. See, if you join OT, you know if PT is tangent, it means T is point of contact and OT is radius, so you know by theorem that radius will be perpendicular to the tangent. It means this angle will be 90 degrees. Clear? And this is radius, suppose R, this will be also R because till here OQ will be also R. Till here any doubt? Now, I will not write in very broad because you have to understand all the solution. Clear? Since PT is tangent and P is the point of contact, point of contact therefore OT perpendicular to PT that implies angle OTP is equal to 90 degree in right triangle OTP by Pythagoras theorem What will be hypotenuse? The name of hypotenuse will be what? Just side opposite to 90 degree is said to be hypotenuse. OP square is equal to OT square plus PT square. OP. OP is here 8 plus R whole square. OT is R square. PT is 12 square. Now see. Here you have to expand by formula A plus B whole square, you know. 
ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर मीन्स हियर एट स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी मीन्स सिक्सटीन आर प्लस आर स्क्वायर हियर आर स्क्वायर हियर ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर मीन्स वन फोर्टी फोर आर स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर कैंसिल एट स्क्वायर मीन्स सिक्सटी फोर हियर सिक्सटीन आर वन फोर्टी फोर ट्रांसपोज राइट साइड सिक्सटीन आर इज इक्वल टू वन फोर फोर माइनस सिक्सटी फोर नाउ सी सिक्सटीन आर सब्रैक्टेड फोर माइनस फोर जीरो फोर्टी माइनस सिक्स एट हियर आर इज इक्वल टू वॉट सिक्सटीन विल डिवाइड हियर एटीन बिकॉज हियर मल्टीप्लाई दैट साइड इफ यू ट्रांसपोज इट विल डिवाइड सिक्सटीन टेबल यू नो सिक्सटीन फाइव या एटीन दे आर फोर आर इज इक्वल टू फाइव At the end, you will write the thus the radius of the circle is five centimeter. I hope you get it. This was the question based on geometry in section A. One more question left in this. You will try to understand. That is again based on quadratic equation. See, how much time is left? Adam. See here, question number six. Find the value of p for which one root of the quadratic equation is six times the other. See the very interesting question. Question number six. You have to draw the margin line if not mentioned in question paper. Here p x square minus fourteen x plus eight is equal to zero. Here one root is Six times the other one row. Let the first row, first row, be b alpha. Then other. root will be will be six times of alpha six alpha in chapter polynomial you have learned about that alpha plus beta alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a Here alpha is what? Alpha. Beta is what? Six alpha. And here b is what? Minus minus fourteen. A is what? K. Here seven alpha is equal to fourteen upon k. Now you can reduce both side by seven. Seven alpha upon seven is equal to what? Can you speak? Here fourteen k. Into seven, this will cancel two ja, this will cancel one ja. You have to put implies. It means alpha is equal to two by k. Another relation you know. What relation you know? Alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Here alpha is alpha and beta is six alpha. What will be here? I hope you can speak. Eight by eight by t. I have written a little bit mistake here. Here you have to write t, not k. T. Here again t. Here again t. Actually, generally in this type of question, it is given that k to be find out. That's why k is running. Here alpha. Can be replaced by two by p, 
and here 6 alpha you can write 6 into 2 by p here 8 by p see here 24 p square you can brought here what 8 by p 0 what will be left you take 8 by p as common here will be what 3 3 by p minus 1 equal to 0 here you are observing two factor if 8 by p is equal to 0 that will give it as p is equal to 0 that is not possible or 3 p by p minus 1 is equal to 0 or 3 by p is equal to 1 or p is equal to 3 therefore p is equal to 3 that was a typical question you should solve it very carefully very nicely one more part in our section is given here you try to understand that is the question from ap find the 31st term of ap whose two terms are this and this that is very interesting question that is the question from ap wait student or part. If you are doing 6 or you must mention of before margin line. See here. A1 is given what? Minus 2. A2 is given what? minus 7. You can find out D. A2 minus A1. It means minus 7 minus minus 2 minus 7 plus 2 minus 5. Till here, I hope you get it. We are with common difference. Now, student, you have to find 31st term. So we know a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. This is application based question. Simply, you have to use formula and you have to find n should be replaced by 31. a is here minus 2 plus here 31 minus 1 d is what minus 5 here again yesterday also i have told if minus is given in common difference two bracket do not write minus uh, 5 separately here minus 2 plus it will be 30 minus 5 now see student minus 2 minus into plus minus 5 3 is a 15 1 0 you can write 152. Both are negative, it should be added. Same sign will be added, but sign will be the same in which the integers are given. I hope you get this question. It was very easy section A. And if you are doing all six questions correctly, you will be awarded with 12 marks, and 12 marks is very good marks out of 40. Next, we will go through section B. First question is coming from mode. You have to find out mode of the group data. Remember student, if you have to give a raw data and you have to find the mode, the, the observation which occurs most frequently, that observation will be mode of that data. If raw data is given, but you have to find out mode of group data, so for that you have to use formula. So formula states, that if you are going to use formula, the model class for, uh, mo, mo, for more formula will be used when you will search out the model class. A model class is based on the highest frequency in given grouped data. In this data, I am not going to write data C. Here, one minute. C. Here it is given, I have to write data also, so that you can learn data. This is class, this is frequency, 
there is no need to write in solution i am writing so that you can learn it 0 20 15 20 40 it is 6 then c student 40 to 60 then 60 to 80 see here this is 80 and this is 10 you observe this is class class means here class interval 0 to 20 20 to 40 42 60 62 now these are frequency various frequency four class interval you observe this is the highest frequency the how to start the solution the highest frequency of the given data is 18 therefore model class of the data each this class interval will be said to be model class 4260 see student after writing this you have to leave five line ruling line already mentioned in your answer booklet 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then you will write more here what is formula remember formula very close uh, carefully because mode formula median formula or mean formula are very close to each other a slightly differences so you have to recognize the differences i am writing the formula and a little bit difference in formula from rs agrawal or rd sharma and ncrt so you can learn only one formula do not mix up both together i am writing from rs c x k plus then curly bracket h then f k k will be lower case minus f k minus 1 bracket close then upon 2 f k minus f k minus 1 minus f k plus 1 these are the terms used to calculate the mode the first thing here you have to write xk so what is xk lower limit of model class is known as xk what is h h is class size you observe here class size of upper limit minus lower limit give us class size means 20 class mark also remember it class mark means lower limit plus upper limit upon 2 here fk fk means frequency of model class You observe here, 18 is given. F k minus one means just preceding the median class frequency. You have to note F k plus one. The frequency of successive class of model class is 10. Now you have to replace these terms with the given constant. Clear? See here. numerical value he will be replaced here 40 then 20 fk is what 18 then fk minus 1 6 then upon 18 to ja 36 minus 6 and last one is 10. i hope till here you get see it is very easy to find out this is very good question to score marks subtract it it will be 12 now you observe here 36 and these two are minus 16 then bracket close and then curl it here 40 here 20 into 12 upon 20 now 20 will cancel it then 40 plus 12 it means 52 answer in this way you can find out more and it is very scoring three marks question and there will be no there is no need to write this one this is already mentioned in question it will take time to draw if you are going to draw to so be aware of for it 
नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट टू मोर क्वेश्चन वी विल सी डोंट वरी रिमेनिंग वी विल सॉल्व टू मोर सो बी पेशेंस ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन see here again next question i am telling you see the sum of two number is 8 there are two number whose sum is 8 determine the number if their reciprocal is 8 upon 15 very good question can you guess this is of which chapter you remember this is question based on number based question either comes in linear equation in two variable or quadratic equation the linear equation has been asked in term 1 in term 2 you are left with quadratic equation it means that is the application based question from quadratic see here question number 8 let two numbers be x and y respectively according to question first part is given whose sum is 8 it means x plus y is equal to 8 you get it clear that implies y is equal to 8 minus x this is first and the sum of their reciprocal it means 1 by x plus 1 by y is given 8 by 15 see here 8 by 15 see here this y can be replaced by 8 minus x so that it will be in one variable the so 1 by x plus 1 upon 8 minus x 8 upon 15 see here student now it is in the form of fraction you have to take lcm see this is monomial this is binomial their product will be lcm you will write x into 8 minus x divide it by x you will left with 8 minus x then here plus divide by this factor x will be here i hope till here you are having no problem now this x this x will be cancel now 8 upon 8x minus x square i am multiplying here 8 upon 15 now you observe both numerator are same you can leave it means you can cancel it directly so what will be left 1 upon 8x minus x square 1 upon 15 now its reciprocal will be also equal see it will be 8x minus x square is equal to 15 now you can transpose all the terms of lhs to the rhs if you are transposing this that side it will be plus and this will be minus and this is already plus equal to zero now you have to break up you see 15 one ja 15 and 5 three ja 15 and 5 plus 3 8 which means you have got the break up you can replace this 8 by 5 plus 3 x plus 15 Equal to zero. Remaining part I am writing at the top so that you can see it. See here, x square minus 5x minus 3x plus 15 equal to zero. See here in first two x is common. X minus 5 in last two 3 is common. X minus 5 equal to zero. You are left with two factor x minus 5 x minus 3. If x minus five is equal to zero, therefore x is equal to five. Or if x is equal to th- x minus three equal to zero, or x is equal to three. Uh, if you have value of x, it means first number five. Then other number will be eight minus five. So the required two numbers are either 
फाइव फोर थ्री फाइव एंड थ्री जब यहाँ फाइव लोगे फाइव इसमें रिप्लेस करोगे तो एट माइनस फाइव थ्री आएगा और जब थ्री लोगे तो इसमें थ्री माइनस करोगे तो फाइव आएगा ये दो सेट आंसर बनेगा इसका ये दोनों लिखेंगे आई होप यू गेट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस इज क्वालिटी बेस्ट सिंपल क्वेश्चन I hope if you will do practice, you must solve it. Now, one more question you have to see. See here. This is the question of construction. Student, pay attention. See, I, till now I have not taught any question of construction on on this platform. I am going to discuss only because on this whiteboard I can't use geometry box, but I can explain it, and it will be helping to to you to get the solution. See, read the question firstly very carefully. Draw a circle with radius three centimeter. I am reading first part. You have to draw a circle with radius three centimeter. You know how to adjust the compass and pencil in the compass i have also but you have to draw by your own suppose i have drawn this circle of radius 3 cm wherever i have placed the needle that will be the center of the circle now take a point p that is distance 3 uh, 5.6 from the center Suppose this center name is O, and from here you have to take a point P here. Clear? Whose distance from center is 5.6? What is 5.6 centimeters? Clear any doubt? No. Okay, student. From this, from this point P, you have to draw a pair of tangent to the circle. Very easy question, and generally asked in basic, not in standard. it will be asked in basic if you will be lucky then it will be asked in standard clear see if you were taking more than half of op till here op you have to stretch your compass more than half cut this side this side and place here cut this side this side drawing with dotted line such a manner that wherever it cut That will be the middle point. Actually, by observation, you would see this portion is bigger, this is smaller. So I am doing with free hand. I am not doing with compass. If you will do with compass, it must. Be. Then after what you have to do, you have to place the needle of compass at M and stretch till P. And you have to bring this side and side. It is overlapping O or not. If overlapping, it means. Your perpendicular bisector is correct. Then after you have to cut this circle at two places. Suppose you have cut the circle at here and here. You have two point. Name it here A, here B. You get it? Put your scale, end of the scale at P and A, and join with line segment. Join with line segment. This will be P A and P B. You will write P A and P B are the required tangents to the circle. I hope you get it. So this was very interesting question. One more question, if you like, I will tell you. This is very very interesting. C student. Alpha and beta are roots of given quadratic equation. This is the last one. This is the last question. See, alpha and beta are roots of the given quadratic equation x square minus 12x plus 35 equal to zero. Then you have to find the value of 2 into alpha plus beta upon al plus beta upon alpha. See today, and then after next. section we will solve tomorrow i hope you will do this many question today
that will be helpful to you see last question number 10 till now we have solved almost 12 question x square minus 12x plus 35 equal to 0 you have to find the value of 2 by alpha plus beta plus alpha by beta plus beta by alpha i hope you get it do you observe see student you can easily get the alpha beta if alpha beta root of this poly, uh, this quadratic equation how by middle term speed here 35 here 1 35 1 the 35 7 5 the 35 7 5 the 5 7 5 the 35 and here plus sign you have to add 7 plus 5 give us 12 means you have got the breakup of 12 very easily there is no need to think in the other way to solve you find G, uh, roots of the given equation see here you can write 7 plus 5 into x bracket must be placed so that the sign will be automatically changed while you are going to open the bracket that is the role of bracket in these two you are observing x is common x minus 7 here minus 5 is common x minus 7 you observe x minus 7 here x minus 5 if x minus 7 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 7 or x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 5 means if alpha is equal to there are two roots of the given equation the one may be alpha other will be beta the alpha is equal to 7 and beta is equal to 5 then you have to find the value 2 into alpha plus beta alpha by beta and beta by alpha replace it alpha is here what 7 beta is here what 5 here 5 here 7 now you have to take calcium 7 5 ja 35 7 7 ja 49 this will multiply with this this will multiply with this 25 now you know how to add, see here, 2 into 9, 5, 14, 6, 7 upon 35. Now multiply by 2, 8, 7, 2, 14 upon 35. This is not going to be cancelled by any number, means this is in simplest form. In this way you can solve this question. I hope it will be very beneficial to you, your board examination on 5th March, May. you Revise daily at least one sample paper. Try to solve it. Do not be panic. Thank you, everyone.